So how many of you have played some kind of game over the holidays? Yeah, see? Games are a lot of fun and engage people. Uh, anyone played Monopoly? A few. Uh, do you remember the rent of Broadway? 400. There you go. Right. Useful trivia. Do, does anyone know ballpark figure of the actual square foot rent of a flat on Broadway? Right. Never mind. Um, anyway, I'm working with a, a whole range of really great students at Ohio State, and um, we wanted to attack this thing of global or collaborative mapping uh, in a slightly different fashion. So looking at part participatory mapping, um, I couldn't see that much public participation. Um, and also with the growth of social networking, although they try to pinpoint their location of friends and stuff, they're still not using space as a really uh, a, a foundation for the social networking. So thinking about this, can we blend spatial environment, social networking functionality into a single platform? Yes, I could only look into my son's bedroom and find him playing this tibia game online, massive multiplayer gaming environment where he joins in with uh, other f people that he know, learned to know through the internet and they solve pretty complex uh, things, often using maps. Um, started looking at games, um, it's usually a voluntary activity. Um, it has a lot of make-believe, you kind of imagine things or you envision things and you have some kind of goal in mind. Sometimes it, it involves a lot of intellectual, sometimes physical activities. Um, and uh, it, it has been shown that gameplay can promote a lot of higher level thinking, problem solving, social interaction, and collaboration. So I want to show you a, a brief clip here, uh, real quick, hopefully, with some sound. Any of you heard of uh, Leroy Jenkins? Some, okay, you're in for a treat. Um, so here we go, it's poor quality, poor audio. Um, yeah, so these players now join in, donning a headset from their home computers, and uh, they take on roles, like a master sorcerer or something like that. And they're planning this attack on an opposing team. Um, and you can see them kind of uh, roaming around there, um, dividing the tasks, <clears throat> um, figuring out how much energy, how much resources they should pitch in, how much they will er learn from it, how much they will earn, strategize. But what we eventually want to see is uh, there's this one guy in the lower left that doesn't pay attention, that's Leroy. And all of a sudden, he just uh, just breaks with the plan. This doesn't stick to it and creates uh, basically mayhem. Yeah, there's the analytics. There he goes. All right, that's enough. Um, so yeah, you can see the dynamics of it, the real time, the collaboration, the immersiveness. It's multimedia. It's really engaging. Uh, actually, there's been studies and analysis of this very game, World of Warcraft. Uh, and you can see that looking at over 40,000 discussion threads on this official World of Warcraft forum about druids and the way they evolve, uh, about 89% of all the postings is about some kind of social knowledge construction, right? And there's building on other ideas, counter arguments, system analysis, mathematical models, as insights, all of those things that we as educators, uh, as the university professor, try to instill in our students, right? So why not look at games as education? 
more things about video games, it's really a social activity now. It's not this confined space that you're really engaging with other people. It's continued to grow despite the deteriorating economy. It's now up to the level of the film and music industries in terms of economic activity. And uh, look at that last fact. By the age of 21, average American kids have spent more than 10,000 hours playing such games. That is five years of work and full-time job, 40 hours per week. <laughs> right? How does that sit on a, on a resume? I've got five years of experience. I'm now a master sorcerer. Well, I wouldn't laugh. It might just uh, become, as, as the bosses, the hiring managers grow up and realize what that means to become a master sorcerer in this game, that guy has to have something. Okay.